In this video in the series of Zoho One apps you should be using, we're going to have a brief overview of Zoho PageSense. Um, Zoho PageSense is an application that gives you deep insights and analytics on your website. It's different than the Google Analytics, which kind of like looks at, okay, where are people looking and how many visitors you have. This gives you very deep, detailed insights in what people are looking at your website, how long they spend at a certain part of the page. Um, as well as recorded sessions, so you can actually look at the usability of your your website. So let's have a quick um, a quick look. Now I've set this up uh, quite uh, recently. I don't do much with it, um, but you can set up goals here. So with goals, you can say, okay, this is my funnel, and when someone actually clicks on a certain button, um, or click on a certain links, or you want to set certain time on a page, or you can create your custom goal. Um, and then you can actually make an analysis, okay, how often do my visitors on the site um, actually achieve that goal? Um, and that's very important for your return on investment, particularly in combination with, you know, click uh, AdWords and, and click uh, paper clicks, um, because landing on your website doesn't necessarily mean people buy something. Um, so you use goals for that. Now, I'm not going to set one up here. Um, I'm just going to look at uh, what a heat map analysis looks like. Um, so I've set up a heat map uh, on my website. And um, what you basically see is um, an image of your website. Um, and you can see some, some visitor stats. Now, obviously, I'm not running this uh, a lot. Um, but you can see here, okay, what, what, what do visitors do? Where do they click? And I've recently published my website, so you don't get too much. Um, I see here, oh, there's some people actually clicking on the on the LinkedIn uh, social button. Um, you can see, okay, there's not too many clicks on the Try Zoho one, but there's a few. Um, so obviously, I need to make some changes here on the website. Now, that's insight you won't be able to get from, um, from Google Analytics or any other analytics suite. Um, so with Zoho uh, PageSense, you can also see what's the attention map, what's the scroll map, where, where do people land. So 100% of the visits obviously land on the top of the landing page. Um, but when you go down, you can see only 80% scroll to this level here. And 57% go this far. So it's quite important for you to know that you, you probably don't want to have your most important parts here because only 13% of the visits go here and no one actually reads the, <laughs> the footer information, um, which is fine. Um, so it's, it's, it's quite interesting to know where, where you actually need to place things and where the average fold is. So you have above the fold and below the fold. So on average, people with a screen resolution uh, just see the top of the read more button here. So I might actually have to move that slightly upwards. Um, and then finally, you have the attention map. Now, the attention map is similar to the heat map or the scroll map. Um, what that shows is how long do people actually spend on your site here. So um, average time, 56 seconds, so about a minute. Um, and, but once you go down here, uh, we go to 3 seconds. Uh, we go to 2.8 seconds. So it's, it's not only do not many people visit this part, the average attention span is also very, very low. So you really need to look at, okay, how is my site organized? Where do I place buttons, etc.? And that is um, uh, information that is absolutely vital. Now, you see here there are icons with desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now, I've had no tablet users. I think tablets are going a little bit out of fashion. Um, desktop is still king on this website. However, it's a responsive website. So if I go to mobile... Um, it actually creates the same maps here, but then on, your, on the mobile version of your website. So it does give you an idea like, okay, can people do the things they need to do on my website uh, via mobile, tablet, or desktop and, and do some usability analysis. Um, okay, let's go to something else which has recently been added um, to this, which is your session recording. Now, if you just build your website, um, what you can do is enable session recordings. Um, let's just go to this one here. And you give it first, you can give it some configurations. So, okay, so how many recordings do you want to have? I, I only want to have 2,000, right? We can go up to quite a significant number of recordings, right? Uh, you can also say, I only want to record a certain set of visitors. Now, I got all visitors. 
Um, but you can also say, I want to visit this from a certain area, or I want to only want you know, certain demographics. Um, here's around privacy. Now, if people enter a form, it, it will automatically be masked, but you can also set up particular masks on the site. You say, okay, I don't want to record that uh, menu. So in addition to, to what people enter on the form. Um, and you can go to the recording. So let's just go to recording. Now they are anonymized. Um, they are named instead of numbered. So it's quite easy for you to refer to um, who is um, uh, who, who you want to analyze as, as a user. Um, so I don't have to say user 7357892. I just say, hey, you know, take a look at the unassuming elephant. <laughs> quite an uh, interesting choice of, of names, but um, here we go. So it actually has a recording here um, and it opens it up with uh, some things. Now, here's an interesting thing. You can actually skip the pauses. So if people are spending a lot of time reading, you skip the pause and it just goes through that. Um, now you can see here exactly what this person is going through. Um, open the new page. Okay, great, fantastic. What are they looking at? How are they scrolling through it? Can they find what they're looking for? Um, I'm just going to skip the pauses here. You can also increase your, um, your speed of you, how you want to see it. Um, but you can actually really follow the user end to end and then make some changes on your website if you, uh, if you really want to, you know, optimize it for, for users. Now here I can see that the pages, the images sometimes load a little bit slow. Uh, could be a connection issue uh, there and it could be anything actually so I need to have a look at that if my images are optimized all right so obviously this person is quite interested in the solopreneur offering for Zoho one um, checking and they didn't click the trial but they did click to contact us and left the page now obviously it was me uh, doing this recording um so i didn't enter my own details in the contact us thing here but they're going it's going to the blog so this is an, an analysis of how your site is actually working for a user and um, it's not just you know uh, and usually you can go through through mobile as well so here's one uh, from the united states that went in through from an iphone with mobile safari so let's look at the sparkling monkey um, sparkling monkey if you're looking at this video um, we got you on tape uh, obviously, I don't know who that is, but they're actually reading a blog here um, quite fast, I have to say. Although we skipped the pauses, as you can see. All right, so that's for the recordings, and they're just, you know, kept here for further analysis. And you can also see, okay, what are they using? So some people are using uh, Windows uh, on Chrome. Okay, how does my site work on Windows for Chrome? So we've seen Safari on the mobile. Here's Windows for Chrome. It's again a blog post. Um, this is a very popular one. It's around the Zoho One pricing update. There's been another pricing update since then, but apparently Google thinks this is a very interesting uh, uh, blog post. All right. I say Google, and my phone immediately <laughs> switches on. Um, here's another one with uh, Android uh, on a Chrome browser so we can actually check okay how, how is this person going through it uh, let me guess it's another one for the pricing update a very popular blog post all right what i do know there's actually a link for zoho's updated the pricing again and people do not necessarily click that link um, which is quite interesting um, you see here the the line here skipping through where the um, uh, where the user actually is reading and therefore pausing so it skips through it because i have here skip pauses because no one reads that fast, right? Uh, here we go. Let's see if this user actually goes back up and clicks that link. Uh, that would be nice. I don't think so because I can see here the events that happened and they are not navigating to the other click. So I may actually have to put something in here, an extra link in that blog post to say, you know what, this has actually been updated. Uh, I don't like removing blog posts um, or, or changing them completely. Um, so it's uh, yeah anyway so this is your recorded sessions and you can get some insight like do I want to change certain ways of things now the other thing you can do with PageSense and I have not set that up um, I'm also not really going to do that but you can have an A-B test um, where you can say okay if I make this button a slightly different text 
do I get more clicks or not? And then you can do an analysis like, okay, which version of my website actually gets the best, um, you know, the best response. Um, and the split URL test, um, you can actually say, well, if you're from the US, you're going into this area, whereas in your, uh, if you're from somewhere else, you're going in another area. So you basically segment um, by, by demographics. Uh, I haven't used this yet, so I may actually do that. If you're interested, I'll, I'll set up a trial and, and, and then do another video on that. Um, and just recently, there is a poll that has been added as a, as a, um, uh, as a beta version. Uh, to get visitor feedback, like, hey, did you find what you're looking for on the website? Uh, give you some further insights. Again, this is beta, so I'll wait until this actually becomes a little bit more of a released version to, to build a video on it. But if you have Zoho One and you are using PageSense, uh, you can start using this already. So that's in a nutshell, um, Zoho PageSense in the Zoho One apps you should be using. And if you're interested in Zoho One, um, it's the all-encompassing suite of applications. There are 40-plus um, applications. I think it's right now 45. And most of them also have a mobile client where that makes sense for both Android and iOS. And some applications have desktop clients like Zoho Assist, Zoho WorkDrive, Zoho Docs. Um, and they are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. As you can see here, I'm running a Linux machine. So... Um, it really does not matter what type of computers you run in your business. With Zoho, you have full access to an, an enterprise suite. Um, and for as little as 35 Australian dollars per month or 30 US dollars per month per employee. If you're interested in Zoho One, uh, hit me up on the website. Uh, I'll put the link down below and uh, subscribe to this channel for more um, Zoho apps you, need, you should be using videos as well as how-to videos. Thank you so much and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.